Hi, welcome to Vegetables Day 105. It's Therapy Thursday. So I did have physical therapy today. And now I have exercises to do. And most of these I've done before. I just need to get back into doing them. Um, the first one is lower trunk to rotations. I'm supposed to do repeat it 10 times, hold for a second, and complete two sets two times a day. And this is where you lie on your back with your knees bent. You gently rotate your spine as you move your knees to, to the side and then reverse directions and move your knees to the other side. Repeat as you move through a comfortable range of motion. And that's the picture for that one. So you just sit on, lay on your back like that and you rock your, your knees back and forth. Uh, the next one is a seated hamstring stretch. Um, I'm to repeat it one time for one minute at a time. Um, complete one set three times a day. And he said, well, if you can't hold it for a minute, that's fine as long as you like, do it for, if you can only do it for 15 seconds, then do it for 15 seconds four times. But it's no big deal. I can do it once a day. I can do it. Hold it for a whole minute. Um, but while seated, um, I rest my heel on the floor with my knee straight and gently lean forward until a stretch is felt behind my knee or thigh. Um, I need to make sure I maintain a straight spine the entire time and bend through my hips. And there's the picture for that one. Uh, the next one is side lying clamshell. This one's a little, this one I've not done before, so um, a little different. Um, I'm supposed to do repeat it ten times, um, hold for a second, complete two sets twice a day. While lying on my side and my knees bent, with my knees bent, I raise. The top knee upwards while keeping feet in contact the entire time. Lower back down and repeat. So I have to lower the leg back down and then repeat. Um, but I do need to make sure that my pelvis does not roll back during the lifting movement. So there's that one. That was a little new to me, so we'll see how it goes. Hopefully I don't get too, cramping, too much cramping. And then the fourth one is called the bridge. I'm sure we've all been taught how to do bridges. They're, you know, very common. It's basic. It's a yoga position, I believe. Um, I'm just going to repeat it ten times. Hold for a second. Do two sets. And do that two times a day. While lying on my back with my knees bent, I tighten my lower abdomen, squeeze my buttocks, and then raise my buttocks off the floor or bed as creating a bridge with your body. Hold and then lower yourself and repeat. So yeah, see, I think I'm pretty sure it's a yoga position. So... The appointment is, you know, what I figured it would be pretty much. It's, it was just a, um evaluation so the therapist could see, you know, how flex, you know, to, or could test my flexibility, my strength, and my balance. And the reason, the problem that I'm having is called... Moralgia Parasthetica and um, I'm getting this from the Mayo Clinic so I'll put a link to that in the description box below um, but what it is it's a condition 
characterized by tingling numbness and burning pain in the outer thigh. Um, cause is typically compression of the nerve that supplies sensation to the skin surface of the thigh. And when I went to the neurologist, which I will see again on Monday, he said that it more than likely was due to a pinched nerve in my hip area. I think the biggest cause for me um, is because I'm so overweight. Um, but it could also be caused by tight clothing and pregnancy. Um, but it can also be due to local trauma or disease such as diabetes. Well, I don't have diabetes, but I do have the leukemia. So, you know, it could be a combination of the leukemia as well as the obesity. Um, in most cases, um, it can be relieved with conservative measures such as wearing looser clothing. I don't wear real tight clothing anyway. haven't for a long time. Um, but treatment may include medications to, re to relieve discomfort and sometimes surgery, but surgery is very rare. Uh, I don't want to take any medications and I've been suffering, you know, I've, I've had this condition for over 10 years. So I'm just trying to help it maybe get a little better. Um, the big problem I have with it is, of course, my endurance. So some days it doesn't bother me that bad, but other days, you know, I have trouble just doing daily tasks like cooking, cleaning, laundry. Don't usually have any problems bathing because of it, because I'm not on my feet for that long. Um, but you know, I mean, last this last summer I started painting my shed, and this summer I have to finish it. And if it gets too bad, I don't feel comfortable climbing the ladder to reach the you know the higher parts of of my shed. So hopefully you know, we can help that. Um, and where. I, what I feel the most, it's in my right leg, and it's between my hip and my knee. And it's right on top of my thigh is where I have the, the symptoms. Um, and it's pressure on the lateral femoral cutaneous nerve. And um, I have... Just like it says, tingling, num numbness, and the outer part of my thigh. Um, I can also have some burning pain. You know, when my when I get tired, my back really starts hurting. My leg will start hurting too, and it's it's a burning pain, like it's on fire. And it is commonly only on one side of the body. And it says one of the causes could be nerve injury, uh, which could be due to diabetes, which I don't have. Seatbelt injury after a motor vehicle accident. Um, I haven't had a vehicle accident since I was a child. I mean, one like that. I don't know. I've had a couple, but it didn't develop till you know, a little later in life. But um, what's interesting is it mentions nerve injury. Oh, so I know that there have at least two or three times, at least three times uh, in the winter, I have slid and fell on my, you know, slid on the, not the ice, ice I'm okay on. <laughs> It's the, our front deck is of course wood, it's a deck, and the surface can sometimes get slippery and frosty, but it doesn't look frosty or slippery, and so, you know, I'm more careful now, but there's been a few times where I've just walked out and bloop, 
down I went and fell right on my tailbone. And, you know, my tailbone was still sore for a few days, so I'm wondering if maybe that's when it happened. Um, I was diagnosed by using an electromyography, and I told you about that, the EMG, um, that measured the electrical discharge charges produced in the muscles. And, um, you know, the thin needle electrode is placed into the muscle to record electrical activity. And when the neurologist got to that part of my leg, I could not feel the needle go in. I could, er, other places, I mean, it's not like, it's no, I mean, it's, it doesn't, the needle doesn't go in that far. And it's not like a shot, you know, where you, like you get a shot or you get blood or give blood, you know, it's not, it's a much thinner needle than that. So you really, you know, you don't really feel it. It's just more like a prick. But then he starts putting the electrical stimulation through and I couldn't, I couldn't feel it. Um, and part of the EMG is a nerve conduction s study. Um, he did that as well. Um, treatment, conservative measures, losing excess weight. <laughs> yeah, right. Not knowing that well. Taking over-the-counter pain medicine such as, uh, you know, acetamin, ibuprofen, or aspirin. Um, so if it gets really bad, I do take aspirin. Um, wear, loose, wear looser clothing. Um, can't get much looser than the clothing I wear. Uh, medications, corticosteroid injections. I had one of those on the 11th of March and didn't make didn't put a dent in it. And then antidepressants, antidepressants such as um, the one they keep wanting trying to put me on is um, I forgot at the moment I can't figure out but, but I've had several doctors try to put me on this antidepressant and I'm like no. mm -mm. and then my mom takes gabapentin um, commonly known as Neurotin and it's actually an anti-seizure medicine and it says they might help lessen the painful symptoms I know several people who have neuropathy that they've been prescribed the gabapentin and it didn't work so I'm not even going to try it. Besides I don't want any more medicines. Um, so you know we're trying physical therapy again to see if that helps. I don't know. We'll see. Um, and rarely surgery is done to decompress the nerve that is This is worded funny. Sorry. It says, quote, rarely surgery to decompress the nerve is considered. Oh, okay. Makes sense now. See, that's just part of my brain. I'll read something and I had to think about it to understand what it's saying. Um, this option is only for people with severe and long lasting symptoms. So, physical therapy doesn't work. I might have to go that route unless it's something I feel I can live with. But I really need to lose weight. So, like I said, this is um, from the Mayo Clinic. So, I will put a link to the website in the description box below. Um, but, you know, that's what I'm having, th to, um, getting physical therapy for. And, you know, I will keep you up to date on how therapy is going and whether or not it's working. Um, I have appointments scheduled for the next six weeks. I think
think I should have another one, but I think she skipped a week or she cut me off, she cut the scheduler, um, put me in, you know, a week early for my update evaluation. But hopefully it'll work. Hopefully it'll make a difference. Um, you know, like I said, I also see the neurologist on Monday, so we'll see what he has to say. Probably not much. But, um, that's Therapy Thursday. Uh, you know, short, sweet, to the point. And, um, you know, I hope that, uh, please comment, like, and subscribe. Um, hit that notification bell so that you know when I upload a video every day. And, in the meantime, you enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you tomorrow for Foodie Friday.